Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our rev limiting features and our Drag Race Anti-Lag in our AEM Pro software. So we're going to be finding we have our main rev limiter. We also find we have a two-step rev limiter. Now both of these can be set up on an ignition or a fuel cut. We also find different cut levels or cut types. So we have a soft cut, medium cut, hard cut. I'm going to be going over all the programming that you need to know in order to make both of these features work correctly. Now we also have a Drag Race Anti-Lag feature if we have a turbo engine and we want to build boost off the line at the drag strip, it can have very specific control in order to add the right amount of fuel and take away the right amount of timing so we can build the exact boost that we want and have our launch perfected. So I'm gonna be going over that feature as well. Without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our main rev limiter, our two-step limiter, and our drag race anti-like feature in our AEM Pro software. So the very first thing we're gonna do is jump up into our limiter page we can find up top here are rev limiters. This is gonna allow us access to the main limiter and two-step programming values. We also can see in our parameters list, these are gonna be logging details or channel details that we're gonna find associated with using our main and two-step limiter features. So jumping in here to options under main, this is gonna be our main rev limiter. We can find here at the top, fuel cut, ignition cut, fuel cut load, and retard limit rev. Now, our fuel cut and our ignition cut is going to be where we specify the cut type and when we want it to cut at. So for example, if I wanted to cut my ignition first, I would have my value here be before my fuel cut. If I wanted to cut fuel and ignition at the same time, I'd go here and set them the same. Now my general rule of thumb with this is I use my ignition cut and then keep my fuel cut a couple hundred, hundred RPMs higher than the value I program here for my ignition cut. That's going to allow me to cut the spark first, then if it starts to overstep even more, it'll shut down the fuel inside of things. I always want to cut spark, especially on a forced induction engine. I don't want to cut fuel that could create a lean condition, and we want to avoid that. So in this situation, let's say I wanted my rev limiter at something like 8,500. I would program here 8,500, hit enter, and now my rev limiter is going to be set at 8,500. We can find the status here, rev limit ignition, showing it's 8,500. Now we can see rev limit fuel is showing a status of 8,800. So there is a difference here, but it's going to be cutting our spark before our fuel. Now in addition to this, we have to specify the cut type. We can move from a soft cut, which is gonna be a much softer, gentler cut, all the way up to a hard cut. Now the difference between them is gonna be the window of operation where it starts to cut. So for example, on a soft cut, it's gonna be looking at 300 RPMs before our first cut that we specify here. So ignition cuts can be first, then fuel. We'll find as it's going up to 8200, it'll start to progressively cut the spark more and more up to the point where it gets to 8,500, then it will fully cut our ignition out all the way. And we can find if we set it all the way from a soft cut all the way up to a hard cut, we're gonna find that then it will cut at 8,500 exactly. There'll be no progressive cut going 